What is up guys, that one Asian guy here, and today I have a Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer gameplay. Um, this is a free for all, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I play, and my first initial thoughts on this game. So, first off with how I play, when I play Call of Duty, I've noticed that I start off slow in every match. I don't know why, but... I kind of play it safe in the very beginning, I don't know. Like, it's just me. It's been there since I started playing Call of Duty. And one thing to know, I'm not really... I only play Call of Duty to... To have fun. I don't really care about KD and all that. You know, I guess I can say I'm an okay player. Uh, I'm not gonna say that I'm, like, really good at it. Because I know there's some people that are way better than me. But for the most part, I just play to have fun in this game and when i play by myself i play on the only game where i play is free for all um i don't really like playing like team deathmatch go confirm domination if i'm by myself because i just end up we just my team just ends up losing for the most part but so i'd rather save that if i'm in like in a party or with my friends the gun I'm using right now is the PPSH. This reminds me of the PP90M1 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And the attachments I have is I think the reticle. Yeah, the reticle and the and quick draw. But this gun has a higher fire rate, and so far it's one of my favorite guns in the game right now. Um, other than the the assault rifle for the infantry class. And one thing to know, um I chose the infantry division at first for my uh setup and now on to the my thoughts of this game this game is actually really fun i've enjoyed it so far um it reminds me it's a fresh it reminds me of a uh, modern warfare 3 in a way and like for the last let's say like three 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 years ish um Call of Duty's been all about uh, the the jetpacks and flying around. So this game is a little refresher from the last three years. It's one of the reasons why I ended up picking up this game. Usually I don't pick up every Call of Duty game that comes out each year. Um, my first Call of Duty game I've ever played that I actually bought was Modern Warfare 3. And ever since then, I've I skipped Ghost because there was bad reviews on it. And Advanced Warfare, I wasn't really, it wasn't really my cup of tea. Seeing the jetpacks and all that, you know, I think it was like more. At the time, I thought it was a gimmick. Like I didn't really enjoy it. Like it didn't look fun to me, so I didn't end up getting it. And then the next one. That came after that was Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 3 I actually enjoyed. Uh, it was my first time experiencing the jetpacks, the jetpack movement, and all that, running up walls. In the end, I really enjoyed Black Ops 3. It's probably one of my favorite Call of Duty games that I've gotten. I've only gotten three: Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 3, and this game. And last year's Call of Duty game, Advanced Warf, not Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and uh, the remastered. I didn't really get it. Um, so, I guess I'm not really that big of Call- Like, I'm not a Call of Duty fanboy. I'm just a casual gamer. Okay, look at this so i get the kill here and i get the artillery right so i call it in and then this guy i don't know how he didn't see me move then i also pulled a a new move by calling in the artillery right on top of me so i ended up dying by it by my own thing but as you can see i'm picking up my i'm being a little more aggressive now when i play like in the later rounds but 
back to what I was talking about. Aside from the gameplay, the thing that I hate about this game so far is the long loading screens. So in between matches, usually after each match, there's a end card, like the end leaderboard. I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing this, but every time I play, I have to wait two or three minutes, two or three minutes to just get out of that, the end leaderboard. And by the time it switches, it puts me in the next match already with the same people in the lobby which is different from previous call of duty games because in the previous call of duty games it brings you into the pre-game lobby and you get to choose you get to vote what map you want to play on next and all that i haven't actually experienced that in the 90 minutes i played this game so usually after each game i've only played 12 games about 12 games total and usually after each match i just end up um closing the application on my ps4 because i get tired of waiting you know uh it's it's inconsistent and usually after i restart the game and i click the multiplayer option it just i'm just stuck at the call of duty world war 2 logo screen for quite some time and in the end i just end up not playing at all so, I don't know if it's a server issue or what. I know it's a new game that just came out. So there's a lot of bugs and glitches, which I hope uh, Activision patches. But so far, I'm really enjoying this game. And it's really a, a bummer that I've only played um, a few games in it. But in those few games, I was able to rank up pretty fast. You know, in about an hour of gameplay, I went from a level 1 to like a level 12. Actually, level 13. I'm a rank 13 in this in this match. So, the leveling system is really easy. And here is the final kill. I fired too early. The guy didn't notice. Probably wasn't checking his radar. But yeah, so... I ended up winning this match, even though I started off really slow at the very bottom. And one thing they changed, I don't know about, usually in other Call of Duty games, it's it's the final kill cam. And look, I, I was part of this kill cam. The Bronze Star, he hardscope. It was a nice shot, but yeah, in previous Call of Duty games, it was the final kill cam and they switched it up. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. In the past weekend, I was just stuck at this loading screen for quite a while. Sometimes it didn't happen, sometimes it did. And when it and when it did happen, we were just stuck there for X amount of time, X amount of minutes. And usually after a while, I would just end up close up. Sometimes it would bring me to this screen. And once again, we were just stuck in this screen for a while. Then there were times where, like this match, I just got lucky and it worked. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. And you'll probably see more of this, more multiplayer gameplays in the future. Anyways, peace.